This is the cutout from the roof hatch. Save it. It'll probably come in handy for lots of things. For example, I needed to cut pieces of plastic to fit in this area to seal up the roof hatch. So I got some ABS plastic and spent a lot of time changing the angle on the table saw until I got it just right so that that would fit in. Then I cut several sections and after I got those strips just right, I cut it off so I could fill the void all the way around the marine hatch. Now, it's not 100% perfect, it's a little bit lower, but that's good because I need some space to put in the die core and the sealant to make sure I got a good watertight bond. I cleaned the roof panel and applied through the roof sealant under each filler piece. Through the roof sealant is made by the same company that makes Lexel. If you've seen my earlier videos, you know I really like this Lexel stuff. I have found it works very well. I liberally applied the sealant. I'll clean off the excess as it squeezes out, and even if I miss some, that's okay. It's clear it won't be very noticeable. I purposely oversized the pieces so they would stick out of the hatch flange. This sealant goes on clear and stays clear and flexible. And like Lexel, it sticks to everything. It's specifically designed for the roof and has UV protection that keeps it from cracking and yellowing. But only time will tell. I like that it's clear because it makes the installation look professional, even though probably no one but myself will see it. I then installed a long strip of plastic to match the one inch flange of the hatch. Once those spacers and everything are flat, I applied strips of butyl tape. This butyl tape can be a sticky mess, but my brother-in-law gave me a suggestion that made it easy. That suggestion? Put the butyl tape in the freezer. After about an hour or longer in the freezer, take it out and apply the butyl tape. It'll apply without any mess at all. But work quickly as it warms up. It'll start getting sticky and more difficult to apply. Then on top of the butyl tape, another bead of the through the roof sealant. Just before nightfall, I put the hatch in place and screwed it in. The stainless steel screws go directly through the hatch into the wood frame below, tightly sandwiching it in place, making it watertight. The next morning, I went back to work. First, I used an old credit card to remove the excess die core and seal it. Using the old gift card, 
I smoothed out the sealant, making a 45 degree angle around the flange, ensuring I wouldn't have any pockets for water to settle. Cutting any holes in your roof can be a bit scary, but I can tell you, the marine hatch in our van is one of the van's best features. Being able to lay there at night in bed and look at the stars through the hatch is amazing. And being able to wake up in the morning, open the hatch and look out and see the scenery and where you are is just an amazing thing. It's a little risky, might be a little bit stressful, but I highly recommend some type of hatch in your van build.